We're called to forgiveness, and forgiving is giving, and giving always brings blessing. This is the key turning point, because this is what we don't understand. The reason we don't forgive is because we don't understand what comes with forgiving. And what I want to tell you this, this morning is that forgiving is giving. It's giving grace to someone. It's giving mercy to someone. It's giving compassion to someone. Forgiveness is giving, and you can't give without being blessed. Because to give is to be like God. God is a giver, and God is a forgiver. And so when you and I give, we're blessed. When we forgive, we are blessed by God. Why? Because we're behaving as God behaves. We're, we're embracing the nature of God. And so you can't give forgiveness without being blessed by your giving. In Luke 6, 38, it says, give, and it will be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Give, and it will be given to you. So we practice the principle of reaping and sowing, sowing and reaping, reciprocity. We give forgiveness because we've received it, and we planned it, and out of that comes blessing in our life. Amen. If you don't hear anything else I say today, please hear this. Your level of forgiveness, your ability and willingness to forgive other people will determine the level of blessing in your life. Amen. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? This is the principle Jesus is teaching us. Your level of forgiving other people is going. You get to determine the level of blessing in your life by your willingness to forgive. Your level of anointing in your life. If you want an anointing of God upon your life, I've seen people completely lose the anointing of God on their life because they have bitterness and anger inside of them. They get bitter about something. They hold on to that bitterness, that anger, that, 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 that revenge on the inside, the payback on the inside, and they lose that sense of anointing and usefulness to the kingdom of God. So you lose blessing. You lose anointing by, our, by, un, by an unwillingness to forgive. So anytime someone offends you and hurts you, you and I need to view that as an opportunity rather than an obligation to forgive. It's an opportunity to be like God. It's an opportunity to show grace and mercy so that blessing can come our way. Never, never, never miss an opportunity to forgive someone. Because when that opportunity to forgive comes your way, what's happening is it's opening the door of blessing in your life. Never be afraid of being gracious. Gracious. 